In this video, we will understand how to add an element to a list in Python in four different ways using list.append method, using list.extend method, using list.insert method, and using concatenation operator. Python list append method is used to add an object to a list. This object may be an individual element or another object, such as a list, tuple, dictionary, or a string. Define a list of numbers. Invoke append method on this list. Append method takes the element to be added as argument. So, this will add four at the end of list. Let's print the list before and after appending the element. Look, the element is added to the list. With append, you can add a list or tuple to the list. Let's append a list and tuple. Remember that the list or tuple are added as it is. Look how the newly added list and tuple are added completely. To show this, let's print the type of these elements. Look, the types are list and tuple respectively. So, you can use append method, to create a list of lists, or a list of tuples as well. Python list insert function allows you, to add an element, at any position or index in a list. Insert takes two arguments. First is, the index at which the element will be inserted. Second is, the element to insert. Elements of Python list, have numeric indexes, beginning with zero, which is, the index of first element. To insert an element at first position, the index will be zero. Let's insert 0 as the value. Now, we will insert a value at the end of the list. There are total 4 elements in the list, till this point, and the index of last element, will be 3, since the indexes start with 0. So, the index of new element shall be 4. Let's assign a value to the element. Print the list after insert. Look, the elements are added at the beginning and the end of the list. This is not a correct way of adding element to the end of list. This is because, we assign the index of last element, ourselves. In real world applications, we would not be knowing the index of last element of the list. If you notice, the index of last element of the list, is equal to the total number of elements in the list, minus 1. So, the index of new element to be added, will be the same as the total number of elements in the list. In other words, it will be equal to the length of the list. To calculate the length of the list in Python, len function is used. Get the length of the list and replace this value as the index of last element. Look, the element is added to the end of the list. Python list extend function accepts an iterable as argument and adds all the elements of that iterable to the end of list. Iterable means a structure that can be iterated such as a list, set, tuple, dictionary, string, etc. Let's add a list of two elements to the original list. Next, add a set of two elements. Run the program. Look. The elements of list and set are added to the list. If a dictionary is provided as an argument, extend function will only add its keys to the list. Let me show this by supplying a dictionary to extend function. Look. The keys of dictionary are added to the end of the list. To add a single element to a list with extend function, provide the element as a list, as shown. Extend only accepts an iterable as argument. If a single value, which is not an iterable, is supplied to extend, it will raise a type error. Look. Concatenation operator, represented by plus sign, may also be used to append a list to another list. Simply write mathematical plus symbol, between the lists to be added. This will return a new list, with combined elements of all the lists. Original list will not be modified. To show this, print the list. Look. It does not contain the elements of the added list. Assign the result to a variable. Now it has the elements of both the lists. To add a single element to the end of the list, write it as a list, after the plus operator. This method will only add lists together. It cannot be used to add a single element to the list. Doing so, would raise a type error as shown in the error message. 
Further, with plus operator, you can only add lists. If another structure, such as a set is added to the list, a type error will be generated.